Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Scale, SKL, and seeing where it's going to go here in the future. So, Scale is definitely one of those coins we've talked about a lot on the channel because we believe in really the long term potential Scale has. However, if we look at the last month, we're seeing about a 47% decrease. You know, this is very, very consistent amongst mo most altcoins and the uh, lower altcoin range. We are seeing, you know, anywhere from 30 to 50% decreases in the last month. And, you know, there's a lot of reasons as to why I think Scale is going to have a great bounce back in recovery. If you actually take a look at the middle of May, you can actually see it go from about 27 cents all the way back up to about 67, 67. So there's a lot of potential still behind scale and we continue to see those kind of pushes randomly take place. And I will say, you know, for the most part, scale is one of those coins that at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the, I guess, year of bull market, you're going to be very happy about this investment. I think this great opportunity at this 32 cent price point um, will continue on. And I think if you look at the last year, we saw it go all the way to a dollar 22 after a coinbase listing obviously this thing does take place every time you have a coinbase listing you see a massive increase and then a you know pretty intense drop but we saw it drop down all the way to you know 51 52 cents but then we actually saw it kind of mount back up and go to 84 cents and stick around 60 to 80 cent range for a little bit before we had some crypto market crashes and dips that took place. So scale is definitely one that has a lot of potential still left. And I think if we look at the year and we just zoom out, we see a 696% increase over the last year alone. So scales, like I said, one of those coins, I still believe there's a lot of potential behind it. I will say we cover scales well as well as, you know, many other altcoins pretty much daily on the channel. So if you guys want to stay up to date with scale as well as some other altcoins, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. So the market cap is still very, very low, which gives it a great potential to do huge things here in the future, a $305 million market cap with really the volume in the last 24 hours just being $45.2 million. If we take a look at what Scale is, Scale is an Ethereum token that powers the Scale network, which describes itself as an Ethereum compatible network with a leaderless consensus designed to run on an uncapped number of independent nodes. Nodes on the Scale network provide resources to multiple of decentralized elastic blockchains. The SKL token grants a right to participate as a network validator, stake as a delegator, or access a share of of the network's resources as a developer. So there's a lot of things to really look into when you're looking into scale specifically. And the first thing we're going to do is jump into our Twitter. So I actually tweeted this recently. So hey, everyone, I wanted to give back to the community and thanks to Community Jax and SameCoin.com for making that possible. So I will actually be giving away 1K worth of Jax as well as 1K worth of SameCoin. So there will be two lucky winners and all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and make sure to retweet this specific tweet. So it'll actually end July 10th, 2021. If you want to enter, like I said, follow and retweet you can follow me in the link in the description below there should be a Twitter link and you should be able to do that very easily jumping into really you know what scale uh, there is a lot to talk about when you know talking about scale specifically they've had a ton of AMAs recently so there's a ton of good things to watch there but you know realistically I want to take a look at this so scale network grows token holders by 50x to over 1 million in just over four weeks following spike in interest and usage of ethereum nfts and Bitcoin so this was huge when this took place this was May 24th um, you know so it was a little bit ago but you know I, it really kind of brings up the idea of its current undervalued price point because you know the fact is we have so many SKL token holders. Uh, the fact that we grew over a million, you know, it comes down to the fact that we were on, you know, listed on Coinbase as well. But, you know, it just shows that uh, we are at a current very, very low price point uh, compared to the rest of the market. And I think, you know, a 47% decrease gives us a great opportunity to invest at this low price point yet again. And uh, that's honestly a thankful thing for me. And I think if you guys have fiat and you're looking to invest, this is definitely a good thing, this crypto market dip or crash yet again. Uh, so I think, like I said, scale is definitely a great alternative or uh, really solution to um, buying at these low, low price points. So taking a look at the next one, we also see now stake your SKL on Hubble from Figment. So you can actually see Scale's core team has been heads down working on making sure the community has all the resources they expect and need. One incredibly important resource is a variety of providers through which they can delegate their SKL tokens and put them to work securing the network. It's along that vein that we are excited to announce yet another way to stake your SKL tokens using Hubble from Figment. The node validation will supporting the launch of Scale on Hubble with a community grant. So this is obviously a good thing. Hubble is a Web3 Explorer that allows token holders and network participants to analyze and interact with Scale Network in real time. So this was a great really utilization here. We continue to see utility built behind Scale. And this is, like I said, a great 
uh, thing for the future. You may not see you know immediate price rises or immediate price increases on this kind of stuff, but you have to realize this all builds into the long-term potential of the coin. So the next one we're going to actually look into is actually talking about scale plus human protocol. So we've talked about this a little bit already, but uh, you know it talks about which sidechain can be used to train AI while reducing CO2 emissions at the same time. We're kicking off a bake-off to find out. So you continue to see uh, a lot going on with scale and obviously human protocol with this partnership. You can learn more about really the collaboration that they have you know made here in the past couple of weeks um, i also want to take a look at this so please welcome scale course team newest edition john frost so this is a big uh you know a big hire here if you guys don't know previous to scale he worked for several years as a solutions architect at braintree a paypal subsidiary that really enables merchants to accept paypal venmo credit and debit cards and more in a single integration all of this happening across more than 45 countries worldwide and more than 130 currencies so john worked closely with these enterprise merchants for technical architecture, partner engagements, technical subject matter, enterprise, or sorry, expertise and API troubleshooting, as well as strategic guidance, implementation, and pre and post sale communication. So he did quite a bit. And, you know, the success of, you know, PayPal specifically, or, you know, the subsidiary brain tree, uh, obviously substantial. And I think, you know, John Frost was definitely a great hire. We'll see how this goes for the, you know, whole team as a whole. But looking at scale right now, we can just tell that the price is, you know, fairly low at a 5% decrease in the last 24 hours. There's still so much potential left on this coin specifically. And I want to talk about price predictions now for June, July, and 2021. Do remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing. But, you know, jumping into the month of June, I do expect more of a sideways slash uptrend but for scale specifically i do see mostly a sideways trend i think you know a lot of realization and uh, understanding of scales yet to come i think by the end of july we're going to start getting more investors and i also think that we're going to start to see the market really climb back out of it um you know back out of this accumulation phase or manipulation and fud stage by the end of july so that's my hope at the very least but by june i do expect scale to be right around this 30 to you know 35 cent mark uh, i honestly don't think it'll be do much maybe get back to a you know like i said 35 cents um, but everything you've seen this last week we saw it actually be around that 40 cent range i think that's possible um, realistically we could see it anywhere between a 30 to 40 cent range but uh, i want to be as really i always talk about this how i always want to be as uh, consistent as possible with my conservative price predictions realistic price predictions so scale 30 to 40 cents by the end of june is going to be my price prediction going into the end of july i do think you know it's a possibility that we break out at the very very end of july so i don't see much movement until the end but it's definitely possible that we get previous to our previous 50 to you know 60 cent range by the end of july we'll definitely keep you guys up to date with these price predictions obviously a lot could change very quickly but by the end of the bull market obviously i think we are going to see a lot of more movement definitely with scale specifically i think it's definitely a chance of pushing us closer and closer to our previous all-time high if we look at our previous all-time high it was right around a dollar 22 march 11th at 7 p.m i do think that's definitely something that we can get back to i think it round right around that uh you know dollar 20 to about two dollars is a possibility for the end of the bull market for scale obviously this like i said depends quite Quite a bit on the manipulation and FUD if that kind of comes to an end, if we kind of break out of this accumulation phase. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.